Hi guys, very welcome to this tutorial. I hope you're doing well. As I promised you, today I will clear the mysterium about the uh, uh, pack, connectivity, assembly, nodes, unique, not unique name. I know this is too much information. Let's go one by one and clear this mysterium. By the end of this tutorial, you will understand the very basics and you can use them everywhere in Houdini. Let's start. Why we need the unique names? The solver using, uh, uses unique names for differentiate between the objects. You see in this example, we have a brick wall with 100 bricks. On this branch, we have only one name for everything here. On this branch, we have 100 unique names. Let's see the behavior. First, we'll look at the not unique names inside the solver. And you see now it behaves like a one big object. Let's change it to unique names. And you will see that every brick becomes um, um, a different object. Let's see which nodes are creating the name attribute by default. If you look at the Boolean fracture, you have a default behavior. It creates unique names. The same with RVD material fracture and Voronoi fracture does it too. But if you create your object, your own, for example, we have here a box and we copy into the points and we have here some brick wall. You see, we don't have any name attribute. We have to create the name attribute ourselves. Let's see how we can create a name attribute if we don't have one. The connectivity soap will do it for us. What it's actually doing is just go to the object, check their connectivity and create by default the class attribute. Um, I think type integer and let's see, we have a connectivity by default, it creates class attribute and give just enumerate this object with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, until 99, because we have here 100 objects. If you look carefully here, it creates, uh, just look at the geometry spreadsheet, it creates on the points, the class attribute. You see, we have from zero till 99. But what you can do here, you can just say, hey, we don't need the class attribute. We need the name attribute. And we need not the integer, the string. And I like to have a prefix here. In my case, I will say this will be a brick underscore. If you look now inside your geometry spreadsheet, you will get your brick from, sorry, from zero to 99. Another node that you can use for creating the name attribute is assemble node. By default, it creates the name attribute. And if you look here, we have now on the primitives, this attribute, and we can just change it to brick. And now you see we have the same thing. The only difference is the connectivity node creates the name attributes on the points and this guy creates the name attribute on the primitives. Let's talk about packing. What packing actually means. If you have an object, this object has many, many attributes. What packing actually does is puts this whole attribute somewhere in a treasure and uh, represents the object with only one point. And after you do your simulation, you have to unpack your object. And what unpacking does is take this whole information out of the treasure and put it on the object. What the um, advantage of this whole process is uh, performance. Let's look which nodes can pack the object. The first one is the pack soap. If you look carefully on the pack soap,
we have here our bricks. We have 100 bricks here. And we have here our uh, first look because we create with the connectivity uh, SOAP the name attributes here. You see we have 100 unique names. And now I like to pack this object. If you put inside the pack object, what the pack, pack object does by default is just saying, hey, I know what you mean. I just take this whole object and pack it as a one, one point. That means if I try to simulate this object, it will behave as a one big object. Okay, but this pack SOAP can do more. It can look at the name attribute and the pack every brick as a one unique object. But you see, if you activate the name attribute, by default, it's giving you an error. Let's look at the error. It's saying invalid attribute specification name because this guy waiting for name attribute on primitives. If you, for example, take it here, because we already know that Voronoi fracture does it on a primitives, you see it's fine. It's taking now every piece of your Voronoi fracture and pack it as a one separate piece. But we use now here the connectivity. So what we can do first, we have to promote our name attribute from point to primitives. And now if we put it here, you will see every object becomes the unique um, packed object. Now let's see why I named this pack object nasty. Because you have to be very, very careful. Because if you look on this pack object, it's giving you the 100 points, but it not transfer the name. It just swallow it. You have to be careful, very careful, because you, if you put now this guy inside your uh, solver, it, your solver will, will be waiting for name attribute, but you don't have any name attribute here. What you can do here, you have to transfer attributes and you have to transfer your name attribute. And you see now you have your 100 unique names. Okay, now let's see if we have another node that can do the packing. If you look at the sample node, this guy can also pack objects. Let's see if I create a sample node and I put this guy inside my assemble node. What it can do, because we already have the name attributes, we don't need to change our name attributes because otherwise it will just overwrite. You see, we have our name attributes here. And what we can do here, we can say we need only packed primitives. If you look at here, now we have 100 packed object with unique names. Okay, guys, now you learn about this Mysterium. Let's summarize it together. If you like to create a name attribute, you can use connectivity node or assemble node. Some nodes creating this attribute by default, this Boolean fracture, RBD fracture or Warner fracture. And if you would like to pack your object, you can use the simple node, the pack node with name or without name. And you have to be careful. Don't forget the transfer attributes because this guy is nasty, as we already learned. And here is another node. It's doing everything, this assemble node. But now you can use it in conjunction with another node or just take only the uh, functionality that you need for your setup. Okay, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe my channel. Stay with us and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.